hello hello uh, so today we are reviewing uh, this foundation uh, this is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear up to 30 hour foundation the color I am using is 03 true ivory um, I'm not really sure what the color is like because I haven't tested it in the store I just got it online and it says it's up to 30 hour wear full coverage foundation light as air feel transfer resistant seamless matte finish and oil free um, the number of shades that it comes in I'll put here somewhere um, with the price as well so again glass bottle and comes with a pump what I will do is I will do half oh it's very liquidy oh my god I did not expect that okay so I've got two pumps on my hand I think I should have I think I should have kind of um, shaken it before I put it on my face. Um, I think this might be too light, but we shall see. Right, so let me zoom you in. Uh, I'm just going to do this side with a sponge. It is definitely matte because I can I can feel the foundation like sticking to my skin. And then this side with a brush. Okay, so with the brush, obviously it gave slightly more coverage, I think. Uh, and with the sponge, not as much, I want to say. This side where I did the brush, it's not as flawless. It is definitely lightweight. I can like, I can, I can't feel it on my skin. Uh, but the uh, the side where I use the brush it's it's kind of like sitting on my face it hasn't really melted in my skin uh, while the one that I use with a sponge I probably will need maybe one more layer to do like a full coverage right now it's not full coverage um, let's do one more layer I think All right, let me see how this is the maximum I can zoom in so this is so this is the side with the sponge and this is the side with the brush now in terms of actually the feel it really is very very lightweight I have to say I can't like I can't feel it on my skin whatsoever so it is quite um, matte I can't like there's no as you can there's no glow going on anywhere <laughs> over here um, it definitely I can't feel that on my skin it is light as air as it says uh, in terms of coverage I think it would be from a medium to full coverage I wouldn't call it full full coverage I did put two layers on uh, you know one on with the brush and the sponge and I don't think it gives like full full coverage anyway but it definitely is very lightweight I can't feel it on my skin so I'm just going to set all of this with my fit me powder okay so I have powdered my face with uh, my fit me Maybelline fit me um, matte and polish powder let's see what it looks like now so this is the side where I use the brush and this is the side where I use a sponge so um, what I'm gonna do now is just do the rest of my makeup and I will come back to you once my face is done and then we'll do an end of day um, check-in as well so this is now end of the day so I'm just going to possibly look for some good lighting there you go so this is what my face is looking like this is the sponge side and then this is the brush side now although initially <clears throat> I wasn't a fan of this I mean I wouldn't say I wasn't a fan of this um, I wasn't like wowed by it but to be honest I've had this on my face for nine hours now um, and it hasn't budged like there's some I think like there's some shine coming around here but to be honest it's not a lot um, on this side where I use my brush again like I said um, the 
the pores around my nose were a bit, you know, uh, accentuated um, and it was clinging on to some dry patches but that hasn't happened on the sponge side so I'm guessing it's not really the foundation's um, fault, it's actually the fault of the application. So I think if you are going to be using this, then maybe use a sponge. But I mean, to be honest, it's held up really well. Um, <clears throat> it's, I wouldn't say it's transfer proof um, because it's not. Uh, it certainly does transfer. Like I had some transfer from my chin um, earlier on, but like I said, it's not a lot. Like it's like normal. So it's definitely not transfer proof. Um, but all in all, if you're looking for something that's, you know, medium to high like medium-ish to high-ish coverage um is you know easy to use easy to blend in and it's cheap then this is definitely one of a good op well, one of the good options and um yeah that's it so far i will see you guys next time until then please subscribe and give this a big thumbs up thank you bye